take a look at this sequence of numbers. Is there a pattern? If you said something like, it goes up by 3 each time, you got it. Now, let's compare that question to this one. Write the next four terms in this arithmetic sequence, where the first term is 3 and the common difference is 4. The answer to this one would be 7, 11, 15, and 19. Now, which one of these questions would you rather solve? Probably this one, right? Although both problems are similar in terms of how you solve them, this one is much more engaging, as it requires students to discover relationships between numbers and be able to make sense of them, which is what real math is all about. Instead of letting students think like this, most textbooks give problems like this one. Students immediately know what to do. Simply keep adding 4, starting from 1. No thinking, no discovery, no joy. Here's another example. Find the common difference of the arithmetic sequence 13, 18, 23, and 28. They tell you exactly what to do. Subtract. You don't even get a chance to notice the pattern yourself. This just teaches students to follow rules without actually understanding anything. They make math feel illogical, boring, and can even make students feel like they're not smart for not getting it, which isn't their fault. And that's one of the biggest reasons why so many people hate math, because the curiosity, logic, and fun are all taken away. So how do we fix this? Well, we have to stop teaching math as just a set of rules to memorize. Math is really all about noticing patterns, understanding why, finding solutions to problems, and making sense of ideas not just blindly applying taught strategies. When students have problems that allow them to think, they start to understand and enjoy math. And they start to feel smart too. Isn't that the kind of math that we deserve? Do you have any ideas on how to make math more fun and engaging? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Science of Teaching Math for more videos like these. And we'll see you in the next one.